here we go final game of the series best of three of course both teams are at an equal uh, points as in 1-1 one, one, uh, as this is a third game of the, the series and what we are going to look at is uh, two wonderful drafts from both of these teams uh, more of a temp uh, I don't think it's really more of a tempo based it is for zero tenacity because uh, when we're looking at the late game situation uh, they are facing off against a queen of pain and uh, a mothling along with the primal beast who is absolutely a beast in uh, in the later stages so a lot of hope for both of these teams though my prediction did go with hydra for this game three purely on the basis of the draft but what happens in the game could be a different situation as we are going to proceed with it a four man smoke from Hydra right in the early stages are they able to get a hold on it of anyone um, by the looks of it we still have about 30 seconds left before uh, the runes are actually going to spawn Smoke does break. Um, disruption being committed onto. Well, is it? Is it? Yes, it is going to be first. Now, over Magi, no, I would not survive. So, it is going to be first blood for Hydra uh, in this game number one. Still not at it yet. They're still giving it a chase. Nice body blocking coming in. Uh, but in turns, Akra has taken a lot of damage. Dude, we'll have to be careful. Uh, there is. Ooh, LeBron Dora comes in with the first kill. Dude, you have to go ahead and give him depths. Why the hell not? Why the hell not? Uh, it is going to be uh, LeBron Dota who claims the first blood for himself. In return, he did go ahead and pay with his life, but it was first blood which did go in the hands of Zero Tenacity. So, a nice bit of start for them. Uh, it was uh, kind of a beautiful showdown wherein <laughs> the Ogre Magi did come out on top. Getting that extra bit of experience, of course, did go with the learning curve as his uh, first set, wherein at level 2, he would get a couple of work. He'd get, get three points to work with. So, uh, would be an added advantage for him. Reaching that level two, of course, give him a lot, of, a lot of superiority when it comes to the lane itself. Now, another attempt being made on the life of Over Magia. Are they going to be successful this time? By the looks of it, no. But they did go ahead and commit with the disruption, but it's a little too late. Oh, yeah. They would be able to get the creep wave for themselves. So instead of the lanes, we are looking at the creep wave. <laughs> pretty interestingly, uh, in the river. Uh, how often do you see this? I really have not seen this often. This is a very rare instance wherein we are looking at both the creep waves meeting in the river area. And uh, still, what it is, is an even lane for uh, both of them wherein they did get a kill. But mid lane is going to be Queen of Pain versus the Storm Spirit. As we are looking at it, Storm Spirit is having a just a beautiful time against 34 May in the mid lane currently, sitting at what nine last hits on the Storm Spirit compared to the Queen of Pain only sitting at six and the additional three denies on Storm as well. Things would get better for the Queen of Pain once uh, the level uh, R's, um, are achieved. Does have a couple of points in uh, the Shadow Strike and then would go ahead and get a couple in uh, the Stream of Pain as well. Just to output that extra bit of damage which comes in. Bottom area of the map, Elder Titan is being gone upon, uh, Metamorphosis committed. And it is going to be the Terror Blade who claims a kill for himself in the bottom area of the map. Only getting uh, getting a kill on the support, uh, but it is a kill is a kill. Now with a lead in terms of kill with 2 to 1 on uh, Zero Tenacity, they are off to a pretty decent start. So even start for both of these teams. Which team should be more aggressive is still questionable. Ogre Magi is chasing after the poor Shadow Demon. Dude, uh, just no. <laughs> is it taunting him or something? No. LeBron Dota would be going to get, go ahead and give the chase. Fire Blast is available for him to use. Uh, but look at him harassing both of these heroes. He's just a solo hero uh, with a couple of uh, mangoes and is harassing two heroes out of the lane completely from Zero Tenacity. Of course, there are tips which have to be given to Ogre Magi, right? Why the hell not? Uh, yeah, he is actually owning currently and would also be able to pick up the water rune for himself. So the top lane are definitely owned by the Ogre Magi in the early stages of this game wherein Primal Beast is, is suffering in terms of last hits. Comparison between uh, the core, Monkey King is sitting at 20 and the Primal Beast 
sitting at less than half with eight uh, towards his name. So the top lane definitely has been won uh, by the side of Zero Tenacity, wherein uh, Ogre Magi has been the definite winner. Uh, he has been the hero who has created a lot of havoc. But the Shadow Demon, uh, after, well, realizing that the Primal Beast is already having a difficult time, does go ahead and make in rotation into the mid lane, and they are able to successfully bring down the mid laner. That evens up the map uh, in all regards, wherein both of these teams, uh, when Queen of Pain, did get a little bit of more farm going to herself. Now the last hit department is also evenized. Uh, Queen of Pain with 18 and Storm Spread sitting with 18 himself. Okay, so Mobling is not doing bad for himself with 22 last hits and 10 denies towards his name. So though Terrorblade was able to get a kill onto the Void Spirit, uh, well, it was the... Uh, Mobling is he in trouble? No, he is just going to be fine there. Primal Beast goes down again, however, in the top area of the map. Again, was it Ogre Magi? No, this time it was the Monkey King who was able to claim the kill. So they did lose their Ogre Magi in the process there, but a kill is a kill, right? They were able to finish out the core, losing only their support in the process. Three for three is the kill score currently for both of these teams. So, uh, and the network lead not pretty significant for either of the team. Uh, uh, either you know, it's it's not a major advantage for any team as of now. Five minutes in, it has been pretty stable game from both of these teams. When yes, there have been exchange in terms of kills, but a majority of the time, most of these scores have been able to do decently well for themselves. Other than the primal beast, who really just needs the level in order to be um, more active on the map does not require any specific item as such but a big kill coming in the mid lane wherein supports rotating they were able to bring down the queen of pain and it is going to be the shadow demon who loses his life so a double kill going in the hands of zero tenacity in the mid lane pretty big kill uh, again it's just a game which is punches are being thrown by both of these teams and they are landing uh, we did see a kill onto the storm spirit earlier now it is the queen of pain who takes a tumble in the mid lane so, yeah, still a lot of action happening all across the map, which is always exciting to see. Stacks being made. Ooh, that's a big stack. That's a very big stack. Um, and it is going to be for the Primal Beast. Ogre Magi does come in, uh, put a step on to. Uh, Region Rune was picked up by the Shadow, uh, by, by the Storm Spirit. And a lot of heroes rotating into this area. Level 5 of the Primal Beast. They are going to go up for Ogre Magi, who is level 3 only, mind you. So it does end up taking a tumble. Primal Beast getting a little bit of retribution in that area of the map. Is going to work towards the Soul Ring uh, as his first choice of item. I don't, yeah, he would be able to clear a stack. The smoke was committed six seconds before the trample is off cooldown. And uh, Primal Beast, does he reach level six with a stack? Let's see. Close, close. He reaches level six. Ooh, that's a lot of experience going into his pocket, man. Um, and he reaches level 6. So all of the early game disadvantage with the Primal Beast has, has suddenly gone away with just one rotation. Storm Spirit does come in in order to clear the stack. Of course, he would not have enough zip in his spam. Uh, there is the Monkey King lurking around in the area as well. Wukong's command has been submitted by Monkey King. Uh, they would be able to get a kill onto the Shadow Demon. I don't think they would be. Uh, well, it is going to be the Wisdom Rune which was picked up by the Storm Spirit. And now Monkey King is going to be finding himself now. He is not going to be finding himself. Well, they are. Well, Queen of Pain comes in. Now the things are going to change. Now, Storm Spread will have to back away from the area. Did commit with his TP as well. And they were not able to commit with the Pulverize. So, a lot of rotations. In fact, it was a four-man rotations with a rotation which had to be made by Hydra. Though they did lose their Wisdom Rune still. Um, but again, at least they walked out with all of their heroes. And the big rotation along with the region rune from the storm spirit did not pay dividends so uh, putting a bit of a halt to the aggression uh, which zero tenacity were bringing uh, and i think it's a good job done by hydra um, in that area monkey king is still chasing after poor actor who would be able to walk away disruption coming in from the shadow demon would make that well would make uh, monkey king go back to his lane uh, with the orb of corrosion completed already he would be working into his uh, mjolnir Maelstrom as his first choice of item. So just increasing his uh, damage potential in these fights, of course, would go into a BKB. Um, and, uh, well, he would go in with an Aghanim Scepter as well. Might see a Radiance. 
so many items Monkey King can go for in the early stages. Now there are a lot of rotations being in the uh, being made in the mid area. Queen of Pain, of course, still has that Sonic Wave available, which we would want to use. Wow! Uh, Monkey King did make a rotation to the bottom area of the map, wherein they were able to bring down the Morphling, a pretty big big kill in in its own regard. Morphling of Kane was just free farming in the bot lane anyway, so nice rotation coming in from uh, Dad. Uh, rotating onto the bottom area, getting a kill onto the position one from the side of Zero Tenacity. Uh, for the side, from the side of Hydra. Pardon me. How are the levels looking on both of these teams? We did see the Wisdom Room being stolen by the Storm Spirit earlier, the 7 minute one from Hydra. Uh, level 5 on the Dark Willow rotations are being made. Shadow Demon only at level 4, and he is. Uh, going to take a tumble and it is going to be a killing spree for the storm spirit uh, in the previous game we did see two godlikes from uh, this this same hero <laughs> uh, and uh, that was uh, for uh, zt as well so in the in game number two things are looking quite promising when it comes to the storm spread having a pretty beautiful game sitting at a kill score of 3 1 and 0 currently and a killing spree has already been achieved but the question is does he receive his rampage what do you guys think does he get his rampage uh, for Zero Tenacity in this game, I think he has a very good potential of going for a Rampage again. And in case if they are able to get the momentum, of course. Right, move on to the Shadow Demon. Of course, he's going to pay with his life. No surviving grace there. Uh, rotations are being made. Uh, the Storm Spirit is low on mana. Haystrun has been trapped by the Rampage. It is the Terrorize which has been committed as well. Do they have? Yes, they have enough damage in the tank. And it is going to be the Queen of Queen who takes a tumble in the mid lane with all the control in the world from Zero Tenacity. And as a reward, they should be able to bring down the Stairwin Tower as well. They do have uh, the Siege Creep, and but it's only 16 seconds before the Queen of Pain is back alive. And uh, rotations are bound to be made in case if they choose to do so. Primal Beast, of course, is already at level 8 currently. And with his blade mail on his way, should become a lot more tankier. But no, I think they are not, they're not going to. TPs are being. They want to defend their team now. Ogre Magi does come in. Sonic Wave could be committed, is actually committed. Not enough as if yet, but with the Shadow Strike. Oh uh, no, it is going to be the Poison Touch. Primal Beast finding himself in a bit of a trouble here, but would be able to walk away. Uh, without any problems, is just going to go ahead and use his onslaught in order to gain distance. Monkey King is still giving him the chase though. And is he going to survive? Dark Willow does come in with that additional bit of hit. And no, they don't have enough damage. Uh, are there any rotations? Come on, they can rotate to get a kill on Dark Willow. Don't think they have any TPs though. Yep, they don't have a TP on Queen of Pain, otherwise this, that rotation could have been successful. Uh, it was a good opportunity to get a Queen on uh, the Dark Willow, but not to be the case. While all of that is happening, since that, well, it was the Primal Beast who was chased back to his fountain. So, uh, the Met Tier 1 tower is going to be brought down. Uh, there was, no, there was no time. So it does take a tumble here, the mid tier 1 tower, the map is open for Zero Tenacity, they can look to get more aggressive on the map. All the tier 1 towers are still standing for uh, ZT, as Hydra has not just been aggressive on the map as yet. Right, Terrorblade is still lurking around in the area, would go ahead and throw in his reflection, but would not be in any direct threat of killing off uh, the Morphling, and neither does the Morphling does want to commit, go, go ahead and get a kill onto the TB. So in terms of the itemization, this time around, uh, we are looking at uh, a Diffusal Blade being com committed by the Terror Blade. While there is a killing spree on the Monkey King, who was able to chase down the Elder Titan, who was just trying to soak up the experience in the top lane. So the top tier 1 tower is being assaulted at the moment. Terror Blade could be finding himself in a bit of trouble. Primal Beast does come in and would be able to use his Pulverize. Do they have the enough damage before he uses his Thunder? Terrorize does come in, does not connect with any hero, but now I think Shadow Demon is going to be finding himself as dead. Of course, it is going to be killing spree. Um, Dark Willow was able to get that kill courtesy the Brambles. Uh, being thrown on the ground and it is really a very difficult to fight for the side of Hydra. Queen of Pain is going to be gone upon but I don't think they have enough damage in the tank as yet. Uh, it is a sonic wave which was also committed by Queen of Pain. A defensive one 
um, at that and uh, it is going to be zero tenacity now with a 2000 lead for themselves in this game number three and hydra are kind of slipped on the map they would want to get close they do have vision on zero tenacity that this has been happening and they are rotating heroes monkey king is coming in uh, to the fight he would be able to use his wukong spawn but the majority of the kills have well the majority of the sleeps have already been taken so happy times sir a nice storm coming in from the elder titan uh, does mean that uh, the primal beast gets to live longer for another couple of seconds eventually it is going to be a dominating streak coming in from daad dad i guess is is what you call him All right. Uh, well, the game is going to continue with a lot of aggression coming out from ZT, and I don't think Hydra are uh, kind of any position to go ahead and make any aggressive moves. They do have level six on the Shadow Demon, and uh, level six on uh, Elder Titan. Yes, they have level six on both of their supports. Terrorize is being put in and they would be able to kill off the Queen of Pain one more time. And, uh, well, uh, does the Dark Willow get a god like this time around? Uh, would be something we'll be looking at, but Hydra's uh, lineup is in shambles currently. They are waiting for uh, the Manta style to be completed. Still requires a lot of gold in order to complete that item. So they are just going to be forfeiting on so much of map control on Hydra and they are going to play this for the late, later stages. Tier 2 tower is being assaulted. Um, it is the fortification, but they eventually should be able to bring down this tower. All right, so vision still, and uh, now this ward is being dewarded. Uh, at least get able to get the gold for it, but uh, they did lose out on a lot of map control. And that's just due to that observer work being placed. Now this one around did go ahead and give them the information that the Queen of Pain was lurking. And while all of that is happening, Elder Titan, who was just sh trying to shove out the wave, uh, is dead again. Zero Tenacity with a definite lead, definite lead in this uh, game number three. Uh, we are looking at what Monkey King was sitting at 4 0 and 1. Storm Spirit sitting pretty at what 4 1 and 5. And all of their cores and Terror Blade is what 1 0 and 2. Okay, so uh, this is what the stage of the game is. Let's look at the win probability once. 73% towards uh, Zero Tenacity. Do you think, uh, is it an accurate number? I think it is. Um, in case if the game is going to continue the same trajectory, uh, well, a lot of motion here near the tier two tower, they would be able to finish off. Um, well, they are going to like, lose a 5x kill streak, dude. Is this the comeback? No. Uh, still, two couple of big kills. These are two streaks, which uh, went into the hands of Hydra. A 4x kill streak going in from the da uh, from the dark willow and a 5 kill streak was ended from strong spread so all in all they gained about what 1499 gold in that exchange uh, it's still not showing the oh, it is oh, still they have a monkey king to bring down right so let's for let's wait for the monkey king in order to go ahead and give his streak away as well uh, 9600 net worth on the monkey king morphling is not too far behind him he's sitting at 8800 and uh, we are waiting for this morphling to come online uh, there is the Glebner attempt coming in from DAD, nicely dodged by the Morphling with his uh, wave form and would be able to walk away without any problems here. Does have what his uh, Vladimir's offering completed already and with only 100 gold away from his Martha style. A nice bit of progression coming in for the Morphling and uh, let's see what he's able to do with uh, all of this farm which, has been attained for, which he has been able to attain for himself. The net worth lead is still not very comprehensive for zero tenacity only a, a, about 2000 net worth lead when a lot of gold did go back into their pockets they're making another attempt dark below of course but their eyes was committed but no the center coming in from the way would mean that the strong spirit is going to live and uh, going to live for another day and in return he would be able to get a girl not as yet he is fighting one score zero there is what a nice disruption save coming in they are eventually able to bring down uh, the Storm Spirit, courtesy with uh, the Shadow Demon save, of course. And Queen of Pain is uh, not going to survive, does go, uh, does go ahead and take a tumble. But the Morphling is in the area as well. He wants to fight for his team. 
Glepner connecting on the Hazard Titan already has taken a lot of damage. Mobling does go in. The Mobling is dead. And it is only the Primal Beast who is going, going to go after the life of Terrorblade. So I think it is just the team, fight, team fighting prowess coming out from Zero Tenacity, which is more superior at this stage. And uh, with even a great save coming out from Shadow Demon, they are going to be losing out on four heroes. And uh, yeah, that's a lot of gold. Though they did get a kill onto the Storm Spirit. If nothing, but the Storm Spirit did take a tumble, but at the end of it, a lot of gold lost by the side of Zero Tenacity, and they did lose their Morphling as well in the process. Now, as the game looks um, like it is, what, a 78% for Zero, uh, Zero Tenacity for, to take this game away for them, but still, it is 22% uh, for Hydra. Let's see what Hydra does in order to keep their whole hopes alive in this tournament. Um, Any big items being completed, uh, by the looks of it, it is a take on one on Queen of Pain and uh, working towards the Kaya by the looks of it. The, we did see what the Blade Mill completed on the Primal Beast. Other than that, no major items completed. Mana Style was already completed before this team fight even began. So, of course, they did not gain any gold in that engagement. So, still. Right, so who's being made? Uh, Dark Willow is going to be a choice of target. Are they able to get a kill? Uh, Terrorize was being committed, but they are able to bring down the Dark Willow at the starting of the engagement itself. Now Hydra are looking to get aggressive on the map. Over Magi is going to come in with his Fire Blast and is able to scare away the rest of the heroes from Hydra. So that is the power of the Ogre Magi. Now Monkey King is going to go ahead and come in with the Bong's command, able to get a nice stun on the Dragon Beast. And with the Fire Blast coming in, it is the Primal Beast who is going to take it down by Strong Spirit, getting more aggressive on the map. Is able to finish up the second support, which is uh, going to be a nice uh, stream coming in from the Queen of Pain. We're able to bring down the Strong Spirit to a decent chunk, uh, but now it is already the Mocking Dead. It is going to be the Queen of Pain who will have to go ahead and survive. Queen of Pain does go ahead and survive with the courtesy of that link, but you know, Monkey King is going to come back in, is able to get a couple of more kills. It is a dieback on Elder Titan which we are looking at, of course he goes down. And the Storm Spirit surviving that engagement does mean um, Zero Tenacity I with a 10,000 net worth lead. Uh, is it looking over for Hydra? I think it is. It is looking pretty bad for Hydra currently. Um, what we're we looking at our uh, win probability is that 84% favoring Zero Tenacity. Level 15 on the Monkey King, we did see what his uh, Klepner completed is working towards his Eye of Skadi. As his next choice of item provides him a lot of survivability and going up, going up against Mobling is just a default item to have. Is hitting pretty fast, courtesy the Bloodlust which has been committed by Ogre Magi. Uh, of course this is a hero who wants to get to his level 20 and wants to get the talent of the 30. Uh, plus 30 bloodless attack speed which does make a lot of difference and this monkey king would be hitting like a truck while the roshan has been attempted uh, by zero tenacity there is no going to be there is no go team fight as such in that area, Hydra are just more content and getting the space to farm in the jungle or farm some of these camps and neutral creeps would be their main priority. While we are only looking at two heroes, which were committed, three heroes which were committed at Storm Spirit and Dark Willow, are still hunting. Uh, we have what the Kaya completed already on the Storm Spirit, as we have witnessed earlier, not the easiest of heroes to bring down. And uh, even though he, they were able to bring him decently down, but again, the Terror Blade was able to come in and provide them with the assistance. All that while was happening, it is going to be Neutral Creep, which brings down the Morphling. He died to a Neutral Creep, really. He died to the Tormentor. He died to the Tormentor. Uh, yeah. Yeah, now, now I think it's safe to call it GG, right? When your position one is dying to the Tormentor, uh, in, in a situation which is already do or die for you and what are you going to do? Uh, the Primal Beast is going to come at in for uh, again a suicidal attempt by the looks of it but just going to back away for the moment. 
there is a lot of uh, heroes converging and from Zero Tenacity, Long Zen, Strong Spirit. They would be able to get additional bit of stuns on well, the KB was coming and they are trying to do a decent chunk of damage. But um, at the bottom area, they have lost, pretty lost their Storm, well, their, their Shadow Demon. The next hero is going to take a Temple, is going to be the Primal Beast, who does not survive. Queen of Pain is going to come in uh, just to blink away to safety. Mongling has respawned now, has turned himself into the third bait, uh, gets himself an illusion, trying to do the damage, but uh, is it enough? Um, it is the fear committed, but he has already started switching to his strength morph, so regaining a lot of his HP. Uh, but now the Monkey King coming in gets a kill onto the Morphling, who of course does not have a buyback. And it is safe to call GG uh, Hydra did come in with game number one victory, uh, but in this game number three, it's just a complete shellacking coming out from them. Uh, yeah, and it's a beatdown. It is a, it's a pure beatdown. Uh, kill score is 31 to 10 uh, for ZT with a 17,000 net worth lead. They were diving in tier 4 towers in order to get those kills for themselves. And uh, looks like a pretty difficult game uh, for them to come up victorious off. There are some situations where you can make a comeback and Morphling can get, uh, get you to a game. Uh, but this situation uh, does not seem um, like to be one of them. Still, the Aegis is available for another 2 minutes and 48 seconds on the Monkey King. Not in any threat of dying whatsoever. Does not have a BKB to work with. It's just going to his Aghanim Scepter. As, well, he's going into SNY as his next choice of item, which he would get completed. So the mid-tier mid 2 tower has been assaulted. The bottom-tier 2 tower was taken down pretty early. Uh, they would be able to get the Aegis from the hands of the Monkey King. Are they able to achieve anything more? They have already committed to the Lord, uh, but now he, the Monkey King would be able to walk away. So to see his uh, shard on the bombless strike is able to get that at the other end of his uh, wand. And uh, as a result of it, the mid-tier 2 tower takes a tumble. Now, it is only the high ground push which is remaining, and the top tier 2 tower as well. But it is only, well, the majority of the towers can be brought down. Of course, we have not seen too much of the blade in these team fights as yet. It does have his uh, diffuser blade completed along with the mana spell, so we'll be going over a lot of mana. Monkey King does come in with the blue box command, Blackmare or the Primal Beast. Shadow Demon come in with the save. He was able to get his hold on to the Shadow Demon. Primal Beast is going to take a double. Shadow Demon, Demon also dies in the progress. Uh, in the process there, and uh, well, uh, Storm Spirit does have a lot of mana as well. There is a Sonic Wave which was committed with the BKB by the Queen of Pain, so she's out of damage. And Monkey King, well, uh, does come in with the Godlike on the Monkey King this time around. Does get a double kill. Morphling will have to morph away from the area, and we are looking at the first set of rocks going down uh, from the hands of Hydra. Uh, still looks like a very dire situation with a 23,000 number lead. Um, what are the chances of comeback? I think they are very little. As uh, the graph would suggest, 95% favoring the side of zero tenacity. And uh, yeah, they, they should be able to go ahead and clear this out. They came out without any problems. Unless they just go ahead and dive the fountain and kill all of this lead away. Uh, if that doesn't happen, I think they are well on their way to taking the victory in this game number three. Stupendous. Okay, so it is going to be Zero Tenacity who are going to be backing away. They did manage to get one set of racks for themselves, but the chances of comeback are looking very slim. Uh, but they are going to be be hanging to this game they are not going to give up on the hope as yet for it, it is their final game of uh, this, uh, the tournament anyway so uh, better give it to your all better give it your all instead of calling it gg would be the motto and they aren't going to fight off till the bitter end of course the morphling would think he can carry this game in the later stages right does have his uh philactic completed they are going to make a great move onto the monkey king who does go ahead and come into the box to the other end of his uh, uh, well, his stick as well. Now, the Morphling is going to be finding himself in a bit of trouble. He is going to be walking away a buyback by the Dark Zero, and Morphling is dead. And uh, Storm Spirit is still styling on the Zero. He will be able to get um, another kill onto the Elder Titan and a um, Beyond Godlike for DAAD in this game number three. Queen of Pain does come in to finish off the Dark Willow. Did have to come in with the Queen of Pain, and now is going to go ahead and TP back in the base. So, a big fight there for the side of Hydra when they were able to bring down the Dark Willow twice, getting a very important dieback from that hero. Um, 
going to be very important in the bigger context of the game. We are looking at a 24,000 net worth lead. And, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to be optimistic <laughs> for uh, Team Hydra. Uh, does not seem to be the case, though. Uh, it is still going to be Zero Tenacity who are going to come and harass a bit more on these uh, towers and should be able to walk away pretty decently. Five heroes from Hydra are all alive. So what are we looking at? One final fight coming out from them uh, is what is going to be uh, our final spell. Last hope kind of a situation. Uh, yeah, the, the push is on. Uh, they have all the three key waves pushing in. The Dark Willow is going to be spawning in 15 seconds. They have not taken over. They do have the control of the outpost as well. So it would be able to come in. Uh, to that outpost of the Dark Willow and would be able to G rejoin the rest of the team. Now with Philactory, what does uh, the Moblin do? Does not have enough for the buyback, does want his Kanda to be completed and uh, no, uh, ZT are going to walk back. They were able to gain what the tier, th tier 3 tower for themselves but other than that they have not been able to achieve anything so but they don't have the ages in their hand. It is still minute and five seconds before we know when the ages is going to be respawning. But the Tormentor is going to be taking him out there. A nice storm coming in with the kind of these in the area. A decent chip of damage that Moblin shows into the fight. Moblin dies from the fight. Uh, it is a death on three heroes currently. The final hero, the Primal Beast, uh, who would be going uh, ahead and taking a temple. Uh, storm Spirit by back into the engagement would be able to get an additional kill onto the Queen of Pain. So uh, all is lost. Yes, all is lost. And now we might be looking at the GG. So, uh, good game, well played. It is going to be Zero Tenacity, who have won, uh, who did win this game about say 15 to 20 minutes ago. Finally, are able to make Team Hydra tap out, and GG has eventually been called out. So, a great game of Dora, great series of uh, Dora overall. Hydra did make the series go to a 3-0 situation, so uh, kind of commence to them. Uh, but Zero Tenacity are going to be proceeding in this tournament, and uh, Hydra are knocked out at the end of uh, that match. So what we are looking at is, uh, where is uh, 